our first time powering it up. Uh, just make sure that you power connect properly, and then we're going to power it up, and there it goes. I'm going to turn off the actual light so you guys can see it. But if you guys notice, it's flashing right now. It's trying to sequence itself. Well, in the bottom of it, you can actually set it up, too. You got a set. You got minus, and then you got a plus right here. Plus and minus, and then the set button, right? So let's go ahead and set it up. Right now, it's saying it's 12 p.m. or 12 a.m. I'm not quite sure how you tell, but let's go ahead and set it up and see how it works. All right, let's set it up right now. It's about 126, so we're going to set it up off. Oh, you can put an alarm on. You could, you could change the modes. Look at how light it is. You can see the darkness, all right? So we're going to set up the timer, right? We're going to go ahead and hold the button down. And right now, if you can see it's 12, we're going to change it to, we're going to go the opposite way. Now it's a.m. If you guys can see that, it says a.m., all right? So we're at 1 a.m. right now, and we are going to change it to, it's a 3D clock, if you guys can see that. It has a, a the R, IR connection here, so you can actually click on it from far away. With the, If you don't lose the controller, you could do it as I did right now. Very simple to set up the clock. Very elegant. Look at this and the side angles. It's, it's not thin. It's a little thick, but very well built. You could hang this pretty much. It has three points to hang in the back, so you could hang this anywhere. The actual cord is uh, it's kind of like a a, a see-through cord, but you can actually see the cord, right? It's not white or anything. It's a it's a see-through. It's a clear cord, so and it's long, so you could connect this anywhere. It is a USB. You are going to need a five volt connection to connect it, but hope you guys enjoyed the video.